Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 99 for learning MEMS system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to perform student forgot password functionality, right? So this is same as teacher forgot password functionality. Okay. So if you have see, if you have seen the previous video, you will understand all the things. Okay. So in this video, we will do the things fast. Okay. So let's open the uh, student login first. So let's go to component and users and login and similarly we will open the teacher login right so teacher login okay let me clear let me uh, clear the process one more time so when uh, how the teacher forgot password is working when teacher click on the forgot password he will add the email else it will show the error message and it will send the uh, it will send the link forgot password link at their email and when user click on the email it will show the form for change password and he can easily change the password right so and uh, we are sending this we will change the uh, password with the te uh, teacher id right we will we will fetch the teacher id teacher data according to their email okay so let's implement this same as for the student so first of all teacher this is teacher login so we'll copy the forgot password element okay so here we have a forgot password and that is after the button okay so let's open the teacher this is teacher forgot password all right oh we need to import the link here react router dom link okay fine now uh, we have a login teacher login here you can see that so now the link will be student forgot password just forgot password okay so this will be let's say user forgot password okay so user forgot password we will do so it will go to the main component let's open the main component right and this is teacher change password what we are uh, seeing here teacher forgot password okay so let's copy this okay and uh, we have let's copy actually both of this teacher forgot password teacher change password okay all right so here we have where is the student student login student user login okay so copy this actually paste after here so let's say user forgot password and user change password and this will be user forgot password and user change forgot password and we will create this both component right so let's uh, copy here forgot password will be user forgot password right so user forgot password and this is this will be user forgot change password okay okay now let's open this both files all right here we have now change the name okay so at the end here and this will be okay forgot change password user forgot change password forgot change password oh we have opened wrong file actually we have changed in wrong file this should not be user change this is for teacher not for students okay this is for the student or you can say the user all right now open the user forgot password simple so this will be user right and then here we have okay so now when we click on this okay let's import this both files all right so here we have teacher change password so we'll copy this 
okay and then here we have a forgot password and forgot change password so what i will do here copy this or paste it here and let's say user change password this will be user user and then user are we using forgot password anywhere else no all right so this this belongs to user and this also belongs to user okay now let's move these both files user forgot password into the user right so yes it's it's a uh, okay now okay so here it is user user change user forgot password user change password so in the login we have user forgot password okay now let's see it's working click here so enter your registered email right so this is user forgot password okay so this one is let's open the user forgot password first here we are okay so when we click on the send button then it should go to the user forgot password okay so this form will be student data right and everything else should be i think same so this is student data student data student form student form data t is extra right and student form data here okay what else student login status i'm just simply changing the this is user dashboard and this is student okay so and this is student data student data and uh, yeah everything else is fine i think okay we are not using this navigate actually we are we are using this we are not using anything we are not using the link okay so here we have a okay so now student forgot password okay so when we click on this uh, send button first of all let's open the db browser okay so here we have a lms api the sqlite and uh, student and here we have tree@gmail.com right so let's tree@yahoo.com let's first try with this send it will not send because we didn't created the route for this okay so let's create the route for this functionality backend okay main url and view open this files so url what is url is saying teacher forgot password and teacher change password so let's copy this and paste it after the need user user let's change only the user and here it is a user let's say student id student id everything else is same i think user forgot password user change password right so teacher forgot password teacher change password so let's copy all of these two functions and let's say user change password user forgot password right so and this will be link here so everything is fine let's see uh yeah this will be student model and of course this should be student id student id student id right so anything else i think everything is same now okay so tree at the rate i am trying to show the message error message send okay what it is saying now 
network click here okay what it is saying response boolean false invalid email all right so in the user forgot password what we didn't create it user forgot password we are saying success message but success message is not showing here or error message is not showing here error message and here we have message invalid email so it is sending the invalid email but why this is not showing the message uh, this is set success message okay so let's uh, do this for I think we have also wrong in the teacher panel so let's go to the teacher panel for the password set success message then error message wrong and if success message then error message should be empty all right now let's try with again wrong message invalid email okay now let's try with right email send please check your email so if we go to the uh, here can you see that so let's copy this or simply copy link and paste it here okay so enter your password so now password is this oh uh, no this is the password one two three one two three now let's change the password five six seven change let's see what it is saying now okay network change here and request will oops some error occurred so let's see why this is saying this oops okay id student id password okay where we are not sending this user forgot password user form data user data and here we have student data forgot password one more thing user forgot change password huh so user forgot change password and this will be student id right okay so this is student id and this should be user change password all right and then let's change the data for better structure student data student data student data student data student data and this is student form data student form data student form data student form data everything else is student data fine okay here one more thing student login status student login status student login status all right and then use a dashboard right and this should be student login status okay fine now if we go here here you can see that we can send the change password so let's change the password change okay user change password not defined okay let's go for the main user change oh okay do you understand that this should be user id not the student id all right so copy link paste it here and change the password okay change password password has been changed let's see here if we refresh this here you can see that right so we have successfully implement implemented the student login password and this is same as a teacher forgot password just uh, we have implemented in the student panel right so in the next video we will implement the uh, how we how the teacher can send the message with the notification right this is not a real time notification but it's a you know when we will refresh the page then it will show the notification or show the message okay so we will see that how teacher and student 
uh, can communicate via text message right so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe subscribe this channel like this video if you have any question then ask me on the comment and you can also directly send me the message via instagram or facebook and support me via razor pay or paypal and send me your email id i will give you the access of the source code after supporting and i will give you the access of a github rep okay so thank you so much